In this first tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to spawn a bus. So let's get started. Um, so firstly, what we're going to do is we're going to add this part in. This part is going to be a bus spawner. So I'm just going to rename this to bus spawner. And we're going to add in a script into this one and also a click detector. The click detector is the one we're going to be using. So we are able to click on this part. We're going to add another part to here. We're just going to move this one back a bit and up. This one is going to be the bus location of where we want the bus to spawn. And this one we're just going to rename this to bus location. And now that we did that, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that both of these are can collide off for bus spawner and bus location. And we're also going to anchor both of them. Just need to find where that, there we go. We go set anchor to true for both of them. And now that we did that, you can just do control G and group them together. And this one will be our bus spawner, just like so. For this one, we're just going to change the color of this one to blue. Just to indicate that you are able to spawn the bus. And we'll change the transparency of this to 1 for bus location, just like so. And we're finished setting up the bus spawner for this. So now I'm just going to add in a bus as an example. So let's go with the, let's go with the uh, city bus shirt right now. So I'll just go with the city bus for this one as an example of where we want to spawn the bus. So for this one, uh, what we're going to need to do is we want to use figure out our orientation for this bus. So let me just do control R quickly just to make it facing the right way. And if we check down here, this is the orientation. Well, where the bus is facing this way. So all you just need to do is just copy this orientation right here. Go to your bus location and just paste that orientation within C frame down here. Just like so. And now we're finished with that. Just move your sit well bus to your replicate storage. I will just delete that quickly. So we're moving this to replicate storage. And now we'll go to our bus bomber. What we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, be getting our bus bomber. So local bus bomber equals script apparent and access our click detector right over here. So we'll do local click detector equals bus spawner dot click detector. Next is our bus location that we need to get. So local bus location equals um, that will be our bus spawner dot parent dot bus location. Next, we're going to be getting our city bus, which is in replicated storage. So we'll do local bus equals game dot replicate storage and just uh, get the name of your bus to here. So our, our city bus for our name, so we're just going to do city bus. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be getting our color, which is blue for this one. That one is going to be our default color, the local default color equals bus spawner dot default color. Well, no. Uh, color. So since ours are blue, 
it'll save the blue color to our default color right here. And now let's go through and start with click detector. We're going to be using the event called mouse click. Whenever we click the uh, bus button over here, it'll be able to detect that. So we do connect function. Just like so. And we also forgot to mention we're also going to be using, um, I think this is called the debounce, where you either set it to true or false. I do apologize if I'm wrong about that one. So go to name this it is bus spawn equals to false for this one up there. So then we'll do if is bus spawn equals false and is bus. Now I need to do another equal there. Is bus on equals true. So what this one will do at this point is when we click the uh, bus spawn over here, when we click it, it'll change its bus spawn to true. And if we were to click the uh, bus spawn again, uh, and we'll go through this uh, if statement. We'll pass the if statement. Says is bus spawn is will be true when we click it a second time. So, anyways, let's just continue. After that, we're going to create a bus clone. So, we will do local bus clone equals bus clone. And we're cloning the bus from here, our city bus. And now we're gonna bring that clone bus to our workspace. So we do bus clone dot parent equals game dot workspace. Then we need to move our bus clone to the position we want it to be. So we'll do bus clone uh, move to. Plus location uh, position just like so and we also need to change the orientation of the bus to where we want that to be so we'll do bus clone pivot to and using the colons for both of these if we didn't notice, notice that then we'll do bus location dot c frame and with this, our bus will be able to spawn. Then we also need to put this bus spawn equals false. And we also need to on top here, well, no, below is bus equal true. What we need to do is add in a bus spawner, a color, because we're going to be changing that color to red. For our bus spawner to let the passenger know that, no, the driver know that the bus is spawned already and they have to wait. So you do bus spawner dot color equals color three dot from RGB. And all you just need to do is click on this color over here. I could just pick whatever you want by moving this plus icon. So we're just going to move this over to red. Is that the color that I want? And if we just move down to here, just click enter. No, press enter. And now what we're gonna do is go to the uh, below here. We're gonna do tax stop wait. And then you just choose the amount of time you want to wait. For this one, we're just going to do 10 seconds for our example. And then after we did about 10 seconds, it will do its bus spawn equals false. And we're also going to bring the bus spawner, the color, back to its default color. So we do bus spawn, the color equals default color. And now if we test this out, 
everything should be working properly and you should be able to spawn in our city bus. So if we just go ahead and press here, it spawns that bus in but kind of blocks it. Because right now I'm just clicking that but I can't spawn that one in right now because it's red. Now if I were to just move this bus away. Because now if we check that out right here, um its bus spawn became true again as back blue. And now we're able to spawn that again. All you just need to do to um, fix this is we just need to move this one back a bit more. So around there. And that should fix the issue and everything should be working properly. So now if I were to test this again, the spawn should be looking pretty good. So click. And as you can see, we're just fine. We're clicking, not working. That's not good. So we just wait about 10 seconds. And we can click on here again. And we're able to spawn it. So I hope that tutorial helped you in creating your bus spawner and I will see you in the next tutorial. Peace.